What's up guys, Hongyi and OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. So I'm wearing a shirt today because you know, I'll uh, try different things and see how it looks on camera. I'm always wearing the same t-shirts. Anyways, whatever. Okay, in this video, we're gonna talk about why belts matter in judo. <laughs> start by saying that when judo was uh, invented by the founder uh, Jigoro Kano there was no belts you know there was just beginner and in black it was actually a, a Frenchman I don't know the name I didn't research it but it was a French judoka that came up with this system of belts and I think it's ingenious and a couple of reasons for it well first of all having belts allows you and they codified it and they put a structure to it it has some, it gives you something to aim for there's like let's say a set of 10 techniques that you know and then boom once you don't know those that's for your yellow belt and then the next one so it it's targeted it makes you more focused it's kind of like goal setting right like if you tell me for example i want to be rich i want to be a millionaire sure you know like that that's good that's good but how like what are the steps you got to break down the steps so before you think of making a million dollars let's say you would probably have to make how much are you making now you know have you made uh, with a business, let's say you're an entrepreneur, well, did, have you made $10,000? Have you made $50,000, $100,000? You gotta go at it step by step and you gotta aim, uh, you gotta think big, but aim small. When people don't have a, like a specific way to measure progress, it gets demotivating. So if you don't have that, I mean, I'm sorry, but if I'm just training and training and training and training, like even in BJJ, I know you guys who do BJJ, uh, you know, you say, oh, you don't need that. Yeah, BJJ can have stripes now. Before there was no stripes. It was just trained for two years straight. You know, you have no idea unless you measure yourself with uh, who's a beginner who just walked in. Then you can kind of see how you progress. But if you're always training with the same guys, you have no idea, man, like where you're at, you know, and just the day you get it, it's really gratifying. But it, it also like makes it, I think the dropout rate is higher. And I know some might argue, well, you know, if you drop out, then, you know, you don't deserve to get it or you're not tough enough or and stuff like that. But I disagree with that. I think that if you want to, a sign of a good coach, in my opinion, of a good sensei, is someone who's going to make you enjoy the sport, the art, and he's going to help you achieve your goals in that specific thing. If you just train a guy and, and you know, break him kind of thing, you didn't really do a good job as a coach, right? Like your co your job as a coach is to uh, make guys, bring up as many guys as you can to your level or higher, you know? And then after that, they can go on to be, uh, uh, you know, champions or they could just be coaches themselves. To do that, well, you have to structure things properly. Judo, you have your belts, then it's gratifying. You see the progression, you see the progression, right? So that's important. And think of kids too, because judo is, when we think of judo, it's very much for young people. Kids start up at a very young age. So imagine you don't give a kid a belt. How is that gonna work, right? They, they work by reward, you know? Like humans tend to work by, by reward better. And it's, there's a system, it's more gratifying, it's fun for them. You know, they see their progression, so they keep going at it. But imagine you told a kid, no man, just come and do judo and uh, one day, you know, in maybe 10 years, you get your black belt and uh, that's it yeah, dropout rate would be much, much higher. Those are the main things, my main points regarding why belts matter in judo. It allows for competition to be fair. When you go to competition, well, you know, I know there's sandbagging and stuff like that, like in the world of BJJ, a lot more I find than in judo, but in judo, like, you wanna fight with people who are your level. How do you know if you don't have like, a, you don't have a structure, it's not codified. Imagine like there was no belts, there was only like white and black and then okay, so what do we do when we get to competition? Just fight, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be <laughs> terrible. So that's my opinion on it. And uh, in BJJ, I know there's a lot of sandbagging, but they give stripes too. It's more complicated in BJJ because the thing with BJJ is that it's all about fighting, man. There's no, there's no katas, there's no, there's techniques, but I mean, fun of BJJ is for, for guys to just go in there and fight. So if you go in there and you're like, do Kimura, do Kimura, practice Kimura, like, and then, okay, we don't, fight. it's kind of weird, man. So, and there's not like um, as many techniques in BJJ as there is uh, in Judo. That's it for this video, guys. Tell me what you think. Love you, peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. 
Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms and you can also apply for uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.